Hi everyone, it's Melody. So we all have those days when our eyes are looking sleepy and tired from exhaustion, right? In this video, I'll be showing you great quick tips on how to brighten up those eyes using inexpensive items you have at home, followed by an eye-enlarging makeup look and party look perfect for this time of the year. 皆さんこんにちは、メロディーモリタです。今日は疲れている目を一瞬でパッと明るくできる簡単テクニックと2つの Fall Winter Makeup Look を紹介します。Okay, so here I am with no makeup, and as you can see, I have some pretty bad dark circles today. So I'm going to start off by putting a hot towel over my face for 15 seconds, which is going to stimulate the blood circulation and make the massages more effective. Now take Vaseline in a q tip, which you most likely already have at home. And this is a trick I learned from Nachi Greek Sang, who is a famous esthetician and friend of mine in New York. So you're going to take a pea sized amount of Vaseline onto the q tip and spread the Vaseline from the inner corner towards the outer corner where your eye socket is, so it's a little bit below your brow bone, and also spread it below your eye. Then take your q tip to press on the inner corner for three seconds, then the middle for three seconds. And lastly, the outer corner for three seconds. Do the same below your eyes as well, but don't press too hard because this area is very delicate. So just repeat this routine two or three times, and that's all you have to do. Dark circles are caused by congestion of blood vessels, darkening from makeup residue, genetics, etc. But we can all give ourselves the simple at home acupressure massage to lighten and treat them inexpensively. So now I filled in my brows and applied foundation, so let's jump right into the eye makeup. For the first simple look, I'm going to start off by applying this gorgeous copper cream eyeshadow. There are tiny specks of shimmer in it, which makes it seem like you put a lot of effort into your eye makeup, even when wearing it alone. Next, I'm going to define my eyes with a black pencil eyeliner. And now here's the first trick in making your eyes appear wider. Using a black liquid eyeliner, line thinly all across but make just the middle portion thicker. This is going to create an illusion of a larger iris, making the entire eye seem bigger and rounder, so it's a great way to naturally open up the eyes. The next important but simple trick is to use a gold eyeshadow stick or pencil if you have one and glide it across the bottom lid to create that puff for a softer eye smile. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara on both the top and bottom lashes. And make sure you never skip the bottom lashes because it makes the biggest difference. And since I kept my eyeshadow and eyeliner very simple, I'm going to be using natural looking falsies to open up the eyes. Make sure to wiggle it back and forth a few times so it'll fit comfortably and apply your favorite lash glue across the band. And what I like to do is once it gets kind of tacky, I reapply the glue just on the end so it will prevent the lashes from lifting up throughout the day. So, using a pair of tweezers, apply the lashes as close to the lash line as you can. And you want to make sure that the eyelashes aren't pointing downwards, otherwise, it's going to look very odd. So, use your fingers to blend the lashes together and make sure they open upwards. Go over the area you applied the lashes with liquid eyeliner and line the outer corner with brown eyeshadow to bring the look together. Finish off by applying your favorite blush, matte highlighter, and matte pink lipstick. And now the look is complete. This is a very clean, easy look for beginners with eyeshadows or eyelashes, and it's wearable to any occasion. The second look is a going out look that's still very wearable and easy to achieve. I'm going to start off by using a pinkish beige eyeshadow to apply all over the lids and on the brow bone, and this is going to instantly brighten up the entire eye area. Next, take a shimmery gold shade to apply on the center of the eyes. This is going to give your eyes dimension and glam them up. Lastly, take a brown eyeshadow of your choice to apply on the outer V where your eye socket is and blend to get rid of any harsh edges. Now, with your dark black pencil eyeliner, line thicker than the previous look and fill in the gaps. Then, use a pigmented black liquid eyeliner to line across, and once you get to the end, create a wing up and out in a diagonal. Draw another line coming back in, fill in the middle portion, and there is your cat eye. I'm going to line the outer third bottom corner and waterline using a brown pencil eyeliner so it will intensify the look without making it look harsh. Curl the eyelashes and apply mascara. I recommend using one that's waterproof and has both lengthening and volumizing properties for a party look. Since this is a cat eye, I'm going to be using lashes that are designed to apply just on the outer corner. 
I feel like if you do a winged eyeliner with full lashes, it can be a bit overwhelming, so half or corner lashes can help to enhance the look rather than having too much going on. Go over the area with a liquid eyeliner, and if you like, you can add some glitter on the inner corners and lower lash line for some extra sparkle. After applying light pink blush, I'm going to erase the natural color of the lips to top off with a light pink lip gloss since the eyes are the main focus. Finally, add a reflecting highlighter for glowing skin. And here is the final look. It's an enhanced look from your everyday makeup routine, but still wearable and glamorous. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I hope you try out these looks for upcoming events or parties and have fun rocking them. Also, here's a glimpse of my Japan Trip 2013 videos. It includes me vlogging in Tokyo and Osaka, my hotel room tour, shopping at my favorite Japanese brands, and much more. If you would like to see a huge Japanese makeup and skincare haul, fashion video, or have any other requests, please let me know by commenting below. Thank you for watching. Bye!